Excuse me, sir. I just got Red Dead today in your stream. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry! I can't help it, dude. This game is so awesome. I had to play. <laughs> the face you set. You're so upset. <laughs> I want to play, but I also want to watch you play, too. I'm so torn. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> oh shit. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me twenty five percent kickback and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. For real? 18. 20. 18. Done. There you go. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Nah, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Hustle. Not everything, but in the end, I oh, yeah. don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man. Uh, gentlemen. Touch me, Bob. Where it's have like you been? in a fight there. Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay. Um, a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Hmm. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him <laughs> where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, that was German. I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Oh, I don't like that. Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, shit. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out oh. of here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out of here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning the yarn. When I think the moment's right, I'll make a move. You where I am by letting Scott Why not? you rob from <laughs> That's Dutch's uh, thing, his talk. So hopefully. Now get out here now! We're coming! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who? Wants to be the Messiah, not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whom he may be. Fuck! in this town anymore they already hate me get I just shot him get shot in the leg we'll push 
Some shit. Fuck! Come on! Satchel! For the love of fuck, open the satchel! Cocaine gun! Uh, wanna be a cowboy, baby? Let's go! <laughs> oh shit! I really, really, really need some shat. Yeah, none of this is working. Health experience. That's great! Yeah, good point. Ah, uh, but barely. Go down. I'm coming. Oh! Run! They got aims of stormtroopers. Looks like we're clear. Let's go. Put straps on the back of John's horse and let's get out of here. Make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. Yeah. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Shit. Alright. I better get out of here. But where's the fun in that? Ha ha! Alright, that's enough. Time to go. Oh shit. Run! Sorry, Bubba. We gotta go. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. Let's go. Yes. Yes, friend. Yes. Primal noises. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're pretty far, so. What the hell's Micah up to? Is he back yet? I don't know why I care, but I've just just randomly thought about him. Catch up with Ditch. How many? Fifty dollars? Sixty dollars? Holy shit, we're wanted all over.
the sheep and goats. Get the hell out of here. Are you ready to be a cowboy, but the game download says otherwise? 49 minutes left. Oh, yeah, this game takes a long ass time to download. Especially being there's two discs. Are those balls? Holy shit, Nikki wasn't kidding when he said he, there's balls on the horse. I thought he was just screwing around. That horse is on fire. Someone burnt down the forest. Gotta get the hell out of here. 49 minutes. Well. When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop ah! and we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive. Watch stream till then. Yes, Cookie, yes. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Uh, I don't trust Micah. Newberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? <laughs> oh, probably a lot of places knowing us. Micah, what are you thinking? He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Who is it? Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Oh. Look, okay. here it is. A few tents, but... Place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Okay, we could make this work probably. I'm ready for a jump scare though. Gets wallet, no. <laughs> Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. Are you sniffing over there? Someone's been here. Shh. 
Sure. Some... Hi. It's okay. It's okay. What's happening? Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Shader, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Oh fuck. It's German. We have somebody no. speak German. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. No shit. Come on, Arthur, don't be a dickhead. Help them. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. <sighs> What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Nah, Hold man. Up. Let me check this. I think you're just going paranoid is all. That's why I love Red Dead. It's like no one's a good guy, but you know they're good. They have good in them. Okay. Looks like they go down. It's not like way. GTA where just everybody's a piece of shit. <laughs> Look, everybody's a bad guy. There really is no good guy there. When you were fishing with Jack, said they were. Then again, I've never really played a GTA campaign, so I could be wrong. Maybe there is points where you can like help them. Or we make them do good right things then, and shit. You asked me. Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Oh, poor Jack. Poor sweet innocent boy. Big boy. Continues along the shore here. So. Same? Uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. True. Oh well, shit, I have the my thumb off the X button and he's still moved. Oh never mind. Of course. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Fuck uh, me, hell. He reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh well. <laughs> if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh. Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Uh. Arthur and John must be like brothers, and Arthur is like really was really hurt by him leaving. So, but no, Cookie, this is like a prequel. He did, and we was family, you know. So where is this guy? I don't know, but you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. We'll take it. This looks like our feller, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Of course. I see three coming this way. You get that hell away from him. Why the? Can you drag us into this, Charles? Because he 
he's a good person. The hell's he wanted for? Horse, but Last one's making a run for it. Take him down. Well, that's them dealt with. Oh well. You get him untied, and we'll see what they've left behind for us. Here Duven. Here Duven, yes. Okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank for your Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles. Go find Dutch, get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Sounds good. Follow me, boo. Anyway, what were you talking about? All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Yep. Sure. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben. Thanks! Oh, get out of here, this place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Bamo. das ist wahr. Bamo. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Oh, Thank shit. You. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotta find a merchant, I think, for it. This place, oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw. Miss Grimshaw. Grimshaw. Put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. I think that's the point. If you don't know where we are, that's good. Chapter 3, Clemens Point. We finally completed Chapter 2. Holy shit. A few days later. Thick fog. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's <laughs> see if we can't sort this out. <clears throat> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. McGregor! It's good to meet you. He threw a guardrail at a uh, bus Pardon? once. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I, shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! I can't have more scandal! Uh, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. 
Come on, big guy. <laughs> Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Archibald. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. Callahan. My neck is on the line here. In relation to Sammy. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks Being like dicks. Gonna make you sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You said plenty. Oh! Idiot. Now get after the others. Oh. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. <laughs> Don't. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Oh, my wrist kills. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You cop bastards. I didn't do nothing. Oh. There we go. Don't shoot him, Arthur. Run, don't let them get away. They're only making it worse. Okay, I gotta remember to not shoot. Come on, shit bag. Fuck. Fuck. To close the edge! Oh! Broke our neck. Right there. Oh shit! Yeah, we did. Fell right on top of our damn head. That is death. Death at its finest. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's try this again. Our wrist still kills, because tapping the sex button repeatedly is a bitch. Ah! Shit getting in the way. <laughs> Why'd you call him a bitch? Hodes! <laughs> I'm gonna hodes! Got him. Got him. Where are you gonna run to? Where are you gonna run? I'll go to the freezer. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. Oh shit. Some gin? Gin. Come on. Are you sure? Just don't kill. Just don't kill. Oh! Come on. Come on. Fuck. Ah! Yeah, how about you come in here and help? He's stabbing me. Fuck. Ow. Got him. Got him with that butter bean left hook. Is everything all right in there? Yeah, once I get my hat back. I don't think he's dead. I don't think, I think he's dead. Oh, just about. Oh, I gotta pick him up. Oh, I gotta bring you with. Fuck. Look at Arthur's face. <laughs> Poor bastard. Out here. Deputy. Deputy. It like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely Who else would it be? Anders Anderson. What now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Sure. 
There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation. Mm. That's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I won't <laughs> say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Yep, we'll be Who's stealing from them. Dry? Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. The Greys, that sounds really racist, even though I don't know Sheriff of any Gray Grey's people. The one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? It's racist towards aliens. Road, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaite. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Oh, yeah. Awful people, truly awful. Yep, we'll be They've robbing been them. With the Grays for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Sounds lovely. We're Such lovely. What about bears? Bears aren't nice. They eat you. They also message you on Grinder. Thank you for that reminder. Oh, my leg itches! <clears throat> oh, feels so much better. Here we are. Welcome to Rose. So Dusty or Cody or Dustin there here. On your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station. No, I need to see a post office if you don't mind. I have a bounty to pay. Oh good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Andrew off your horse and carry him in for me? Sure! Why the hell not? Chop, chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Why not? Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Howdy. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. No more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, oh, yeah. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. <laughs> Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible! Come along now. I'm sure we'll be helping you. On the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't Braithwaite. thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town's trapped in this interminable it's a dust bowl. between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses. Falling houses. Out, rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard. About bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk oh, of boy. super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is. But I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Is that your rental? 